All right, so today um, I have something really cool to talk to you guys about. It's it's something that's going to add a little bit of flair to your channel, and it's going to make it pretty dang cool. And I don't see a lot of creators actually doing it. Uh, and from what I know, it is something that's pretty new uh, to the whole kind of Twitch landscape. Uh, look how weird these shadows are on me. This just seems weird. Okay, maybe that's a little better. I don't know. I got like a ghetto setup right now, so I don't think it's going to be that great anyway. But let me know in the comments. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about something pretty dang cool. It's going to flare up your Twitch stream. Make it, you know, something a little bit special. You know, it's not going to make you a star overnight, but it's something that I haven't really seen on a lot of channels. And from what I know, it is something that's pretty new uh, to just kind of like Twitch experience as a whole. It's about setting up uh, custom image alerts for channel points rewards. Now this process and this plugin for OBS was developed by someone named Clay Cree who posted over on the Twitch subreddit. So thank you so much Clay Cree. I'll put a link down to their Twitch channel below. So definitely go support them because this is a really awesome plugin and you know they took time out of their day to make it. So you know we should be appreciative. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head to the link that's down in the description below. It is a GitHub page created by Clay Cree, and it contains instructions on exactly how to do this, and I'll go through each of those steps with you. Uh, so the first part here is uh, install the latest VC++ redistribu redistributable. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, and if you just click this right here, it'll download it. I've already installed it, so I don't need to do that. Uh, and the second thing you're going to need to do is install the new Edge browser. Now, I thought I had the latest Edge browser because I'm thinking to myself, well, I have Microsoft Edge on my computer and uh, it's probably updated because the Microsoft Store updates things on its own, uh, for me at least. Uh, but no, this is actually a brand new Edge browser. So if I click on this, you can see uh, this is the icon for the Edge browser right here. So if you don't have this Edge browser, install the new Microsoft Edge because it's needed for this. Now it says add both .dll files to your OBS Studio installation folder. Um, so in order to get those DLL files, uh, it's a little bit hidden and I don't know if there's actually an easier way to find them, but it took me a little bit to actually find them. So on the GitHub page, you're gonna wanna click the two releases section right here. So basically where uh, Clay Cree has published the releases and provided details for each release. So the latest release for right now for this video is version 1.0.1, but you're gonna wanna use the latest release that you can find, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, you're gonna wanna go into the asset section of that release and you're gonna wanna download channel points plugin.zip once you download that, you can open up that zip file and you'll see that there are two DLL files in there that you're gonna to have to drag into your OBS plugin section of your installation. So if we need to get to that OBS plugin section, I can open up a new Windows Explorer here. I can go to this PC. I can go to my C drive, program files x86. I can scroll down and I can find my OBS-Studio plugin folder or sorry, installation folder. And then I can go to the OBS-plugins folder, 64-bit, and then within this folder is where you're gonna, you're gonna wanna drag these DLL files. Uh, it's gonna ask you to just confirm it because it needs administration privileges in order to bring those files over. Just go ahead and do that. And if you have OBS open at this time, just relaunch OBS so that these changes take effect. I've already actually dragged these over and installed them, so I don't need to do that right now. Now, if we go back to the GitHub page, if I click back, um, and go back down to the instructions. Uh, it actually tells you to hop into OBS and add, it, add a channel points display. So before we actually wanna do that, we wanna head over to Twitch and we wanna set up a channel points um, reward uh, just so that we can actually test it with uh, this plugin. Okay, so I'm over on my Twitch channel right now, which you should totally follow if you're watching. Link is down in the description below and uh, if you wanna to get to the channel points reward section, uh, go to the top right, click creator dashboard. And then over in the top left, uh, you click the hamburger menu. And yes, that is what it is called. For some reason, reason people find that hilarious that I call it the hamburger menu, but that is what it's called uh, when it comes to UI and UX stuff. So 
just let it be. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, so you're gonna wanna click the community section and then you're gonna wanna go to channel points. And right here you can click manage rewards and you're gonna wanna click add a new custom reward and you're gonna wanna give it a name. Uh, I don't know, I'll just call this one uh, random image in all capital letters. And this will be like display a random image on stream. So I'm just gonna have this cost one um, spoons, but you guys can have it cost however many you want. And uh, yeah, that's all I'll do for now. So I'm just gonna create that. You can add more, you know, images and things like that if you want to, but you don't need to uh, just to test this plugin out. So um, we're gonna go ahead and create that. And now we can head back over to OBS and I will show you exactly how to set it up. Okay, so now that we are in OBS, uh, you wanna head to the scene that you want to include these channel points display alerts in. So I'm in my main scene right here and you're gonna to wanna to add a new source and you'll notice that there is one called channel points display. Uh, so if I click on that, you can name it whatever you would like to. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is put the channel name in the settings for the channel points display source. So I'll put mine, the real spoons. Uh, and now the next part of these properties right here are the redemptions count. So this is how many times you're gonna allow that reward to be redeemed. So I'm going to just set this to a random number here. Now, the next part is super important, redemption title. You have to name this exactly what you named the reward on Twitch. So mine was random image, which was in all caps. So I'll do exactly that. And now you're gonna to wanna to select the media folder. So create a folder on your computer with a bunch of different images. You can see that the uh, file types that it supports are JPEG, PNG, and GIF, or GIF, however you wanna say it. Um, those are what it supports right now. And so create, a, so create a folder like that on your computer that has a bunch of those images. Mine are just my emotes that are gonna, that are gonna pop up. So um, you know that's what I chose. I believe they're PNG files. Um, so if I go into browse folders right here and I select this folder, uh, it's now selected in the properties. And the other two options here are fade duration and show duration. So fade duration is gonna um, you know, allow you to set different fading times for each image that shows up and show duration is gonna tell you how long should that image stay on the screen for. So I'm gonna just leave mine as default because I honestly, I don't really care right now. I'm just testing this. Um, so I'm gonna click okay. And you'll notice there was a new source created called CPD image. Uh, so this is actually what's going to allow you to control the size of the image that is displayed on your stream. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and enable the preview and I apologize in advance for this OBSception that's about to happen. Uh, but if I enable preview, I have the CPD image source selected. You'll notice there is a little tiny red box up in the top left, uh, which is gonna allow you to change the size of your image. Now, one thing that I've noticed, and it's probably a bug with this plugin, is that if I hold shift at all during my initial resizing of this box, it makes the box completely disappear and I don't know how to get it back. So what I would recommend is to just drag the corner of this box to a larger size, let's just say something like that. And if you need it to scale proportionally, now you can hold shift and you can resize this. Oh no, it makes it disappear again. Why does that happen? Okay, back, sorry about that guys. I don't know why that happens. I guess just don't hit shift while you're trying to resize this because it's gonna screw up for some reason and I'm not really sure why. Um, so if you're resizing, just click and don't use shift to try to scale proportionately. I'm gonna just make this pretty big. And now uh, I'm gonna just lock these layers here. Now, if I go over to my uh, channel points and I redeem my random image, it should just put a random uh, emote of mine on the screen. So let's do that. We're gonna go ahead and click redeem and wait for it, wait for it. There it is. Oh, it's my Gears of War old, old, old emote. Now, if I go ahead and redeem it again, I believe there is a little bit of a cooldown. So it might not appear right away. Oh no, there it is, there's my face. Look at that, that's horrifying. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do it guys. Really, really cool. I can see a lot of people taking advantage of this. 
um, for um, you know gifts and things like that. Now it does choose a random image. There's no way for you to set it currently to actually choose whatever image you would like, but uh, still really, really cool. And um, you know, definitely a lot of possibilities. So let me know down in the comment section below, you know, what are your ideas for this? What have you come up with that really takes advantage of this plugin because it's super, super powerful. And I think that, uh, that we're gonna see some pretty awesome things from you guys. All right, everybody, so that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, I hope this helped you out. Uh, and like I said, this is only for images and GIFs or GIFs uh, for right now, but the developer has kind of expressed interest on Reddit a little bit about expanding this to use the media source in OBS. So if you're looking to do that, definitely go over to their Twitch channel. I'll link the uh, Twitch thread down below if you wanna actually comment and you know show that you actually want the media source to be um, supported because that will allow videos and things of that nature and WebM files and things like that to actually be shown on the stream, uh, which would be really cool and open up even more doors uh, for this plugin. So uh, anyway, guys, I do stream over on Twitch if you want to come watch me play some Apex Legends and not win a game in like the last, I don't know, freaking five times I played Apex. It's been super, super frustrating, but whatever. Uh, if you wanna go check me out, twitch.tv slash The Real Spoons, link is down in the description below. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, support the channel. It helps more than you guys actually know. And uh, yeah, guys, take it easy. Peace out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Later.